Hello everyone and welcome back to the Devil's Devices previews. Uh, today I have a stockade that I've been working on. The torture table that I worked on I did primarily with Arc Assets uh, and then exported to do a little touch up and animating for that. Uh, but this stockade I'm working on completely in 3ds Max. Uh, I haven't really used 3ds Max before other than the little touch ups for the table. So this is a new experience for me modeling wise. I'm hoping in the future to come back and revisit this stockade and update it, make it a little more appealing to the eye. But for now, this will be what I go with. I'm hoping to do moving parts to be able to raise and lower this top portion uh, and have ropes. The, the ropes will probably just run down it to about here. Uh, so that visually they're always there but when this is up you won't see it you know you just see the rope at the top and then to add a lock probably here and here so that when someone is in the stockade it will be lowered and locked but when they're it's empty it'll be up uh, and the way arc characters resize i'm probably going to end up making three versions of this one for medium-sized characters which is what we have here one for larger characters and one for smaller characters uh, also depending on how the female snaps in size wise uh we'll have to maybe make a fourth for the smaller females since they seem to be a little smaller than the the, the small males but that'll just depend so other than the model here that I've worked on, uh, I, I've worked on some animation, which I'm excited to show off. Uh, put a lot of work into this. It's the, the longest portion of what I what I did to yesterday and this morning. Um, so I'll get that back to start, and we'll uh, show this off for you, and then talk about what else I have in the works. Let me deselect. Sorry. There we go. So you can see the, the movements from this side, the, the hands wiggle a little bit, the head's kind of shaking around, speeds up and slows down a little bit, as you can see. You know, My thought was uh, to have him start out, okay, a little, and then get more frustrated towards the, the end of the animation and start shaking his head and moving a little faster. Uh, the, the hands and head were really straightforward. The, the legs took a little more time to figure out uh, I've never done animation before. Uh, my biggest concern was clipping. So as you can see, there is no clipping through the ground the way it is now. Uh, well, a little bit there, possibly. Uh, let's see. Yeah, a, little, a touch of the clipping with the bottom of the foot, not a big deal. Uh, so it took a lot of time and patience to, to figure that out, but it was fun and really enjoyable, and I look forward forward to doing more animation work. Uh, with the stockade, I'm going to probably end up adding a small foundation, uh, probably a wood platform or something, and lower it down into the ground so that collision-wise there aren't any elevation issues where the player's going to be clipping through the ground or too low uh, or floating um, so that it, it, you know, for immersion purposes, it it looks as good as possible. I'm building these mod, this mod, these items with RP in mind. Uh, I, I strongly enjoy my Arc RP and uh, these, you know, it's the reason I'm making this. Uh, so other things I have in the works are I want to make tomatoes, rotten fruit, oranges, apples, vegetables, some lettuce. Uh, you know, anything that I could make. Uh, a rotten fruit version, fruit and vegetable version of to chuck at this guy. And what I'll probably end up doing with that is starting with the grenade and going from from there for the the throw animation and all that. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. Um, device wise, um, the next thing I want to work on is probably an Iron Maiden that will do damage over time while someone is in it. Uh, a torture trailer which will be pretty straightforward. Uh, the rack, the you know the stretching device that you see in uh, the old 
old, older movies that they have medieval devices in. And uh, finally, I'll probably the last thing I'll probably work on will be a guillotine because it'll it'll take a lot more work to get that functioning how I want it to. Uh, restraint wise, I've got the stocks that I'm working on. Uh, I want to make wall chains that you can snap players to that are cuffed. Um, and then a bench with chains uh, that, that'll snap to the, the cuffs and then have shackles around the ankles as well. And then I'm looking into making some, uh, some instruments as well. Uh, things along the lines of pliers, uh, a hot poker, a flaying knife, uh, a saw, and maybe something like a hammer or a blackjack uh, for knockout purposes or just to have a, a blunt device to use as well. Uh, but these are things I have in mind. If you guys have any suggestions, you can DM me uh, on, on Discord or leave a comment here. And thank you guys for your time. Thanks for watching the previous video, and I look forward to uh, seeing you all back in future videos. Uh, I may start streaming some of this as well, so if I do, I'll see you all there. Thanks again.